Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. There. My pet chewing on your face is apparently a good thing. You, you had to wait for it though. And we've got a yellow light going this way, which won't take us very long. So we can go over there. And which way do we want to go now? Just on a little bit further, which would be right here. I've got another dude that's... Oh, he's sitting right on it. Let's get that wretched woodsman out of the way. There. I need a target. Right, he's out of the way, and then I can pick that one up, and I can pick that one up as well. There is uh, another bit done, and I can survey. Our survey says we need to head over this way to around about here. Where are we going? We're going just over this side. There's our dig site, but I've got another wretched ranger here in the way first. So let me deal with him. There we go. And then dig up the night elf fragments. Right there. Dig up some... No, wait. Uh, dig up the night elf fragments. Which way do we need to go now? Oh, another one right on the... I love it when that happens. Same one in the same place. Go and do it again. No, no such luck. Mount up here. We want to just fly our way over. It looks like we've got to go the other side of the building for this one. That does happen sometimes. They put them down on the track down the bottom there sometimes, if I remember from this dig site. have done this one before. Uh, let me go up that hill there. Right. Probably don't want to fall off a cliff and land directly on top of one of these wretched rangers. They may get a bit upset for you doing that. Uh, but it happens, so we've we've had to sort of deal with that and move on. So it's now time for everybody else to do the same. Don't worry about it. It was fine. It was absolutely fine. Nobody complained much. And there were no casualties. Because technically the person that we killed was already dead to start with, so they don't count. And go through there. Fairy fire. You can keep your fairy fire to yourself. Particularly interested in that. Thank you very much. And back up here. There we go. Nightail fragment. Let me get that one. There. And take you down. I have one more that i got to get. we got one more dig that we got to do. And then we have finished this site. We'll see where the next one is going to spawn. It could all be down in the south. So the big question I got then is do I flappy my way all the way to the south and go and do some more down there? Ooh. Right, that one's around here somewhere. Let's take out that path strider there. And take out that path strider there. Like that. Go on. Take you down and then I'll take you down as well. That. Boom. Right. Get those two out of the way. Then we can do our dig site here. So we've completed another dig site. That's a night elf bit right there. I can pick that one up. That's 223 fragment. Uh, 223 points now. I got another fragment or two. So if I just land on the roof up here and we make up the current artifact that we've got. Night elf right there. I don't have any of them. Shattered Glaive is the next one that we're doing. Maeve's got to go. She said, expert archaeologist. We are on our way. We still don't have the North Ren stuff, but we are above level 225, which is good. So we've got a Shattered Glaive right there. That's another new one. Let me have a look in here and have a look at our completed artifacts. There it is. This is a fragment of a large three-bladed projectile fired from elven siege weapons. While glaive throwers are common even today, this fragment is of an ancient design with detailed ornamentation, even by night elf standards. Ah. Well, we've got a very nice little piece there. Now, where are the rest of you? I've got one over here, Shadra Alor dig site, which is the one that we were in previously. So we're going to jump to that one now. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to just use my own flappy to get to the tower over here. And then I'm going to fly down into Hinterlands again. Where's the flappy? There's the flappy over there. Flight master. Interest you in a pint. Interest you in a pint. Uh, 
Airy Peak Watch is the one that I want to go to. So we're going to flappy our way to Airy Peak. And then we'll be able to do the dig site there. I'm going to that point right there. Do that dig site. And we've got these. we got several down here. So I can get the storm wind. Those would be fairly quick to get to. It does depend. Like if we get another one over here. Then it would probably be worth our while coming over here. Uh, running a, a line down a storm wind and then going through. But whether I do that now or whether I actually leave that until I come back to... Like, if I go back to Northrend and do a bit more there, and then we come back and we do, like, another half hour later, I might do it that way around rather than trying to do everything all at once now. Because, honestly, getting a 375 in archaeology, I don't think that's going to happen. Like... Well, it could. It could very easily. I could do it. It's just that I think it's going to be rather dull for everybody involved. And you're not going to want to watch that. So we're going to do sort of a, a catch-up situation with the archaeology rather than trying to do it all at once. It's now hooving it down with rain in the hinterlands. This is something that happens quite a lot around here, I believe. We will jump onto our Iron Forge colours. And we're going to head over here. So the Altar of Zul was the last one we did. This time we're going over to Shadra Alor, which is where we summoned up that massive great big spider up here. We're going to go back over there. And instead of summoning massive great big spiders, we're going to summon relics of the past. Well, I suppose actually that spider was a relic of the past. So technically we're doing the same again. And um, we're going to summon another relic of the past. Only this time this particular relic of the past is... Not a giant spider, it's just artifacts of some kind. The next actual artifact that we're going for is what? With the trolls. Troll artifact is a fine blood scalp dinnerware. We're going for troll dinnerware. That's what we're going this time. We're, we're, we're hunting for troll dinnerware. Which is honestly not what I expected. That is not what I was expecting to be going after. There's a level 40 Blood Elf Mage over there. Uh, let's do this. There's... Wild Hammer Elites. What's going on over here? Dark Cleric Marnal. Death Stalker Body Chopper. What are all this lot? Why are they fighting the wild hammer? I've never seen this before. Are they PvP targets? I don't think they are. Deathstalker body chopper. They are elites. I feel like I should help out the wild hammer here. I can't attack that. I'm not allowed to attack them, so I'm just going to have to leave them fighting. Um. So I'm going to go and we'll do our digging instead. We'll, we'll leave them. There's nothing I can do. I, I can't help out. I, I feel like I should. No, they're my dwarven brothers and they're under attack. I can do nothing. This feels so wrong. I should be able to do something to help them out. To head back over this side. Let's run over here. And we've got... Uh... Skip up over the top of that lot and then down in over here. Right over this side. Right, that's on yellow this time. So we'll take out that vile branch zealot right there. It's a fairly easy one to do. And boom, like that. And then I can go to. It's, it's going to be further over than this. Down. Oh, actually, I'm right on the edge of it. There's the troll tablet. I'll take that one. I'll do another. I'll do another one right here. That's going to send me back that way on a yellow one. So it is only just up here against the foot of the hill here somewhere, uh, somewhere close by. There we go. Get that one. So there's the third one of this particular site. We've then got to do a little bit of a flap over to the other side of this temple here. That's not very difficult. And run down here, and it'll be somewhere on the edge of the temple here, I'm guessing. Okay, it's going to be further away than that. That's still on the red. So we go over here. It might be close to the one that we already had. No. Well, close. It, it, it is close to the one we already had. I was just wondering if it was the one we'd already had. But it's not the one we'd already had. This is a different one. 
So we'll get you right there. And we'll do that again. Are you going to... It is! Yes! I love it when that happens. I love it when that happens. It's nice and quick then. So there's two on the same spot. Run back over here. We're on 233 on our archaeology skill. This next one here will take us to 234. I'm just going to go over the top there just in case it is. It's not that one. Right. In which case then I will stop down here and... Oh. Oh. Right, well, back over this side of the lake, then. See what I can find here. Not far off of the edge of the lake over here somewhere. Up this way, towards the base of the temple steps. There we go. Right, there is there is that troll one. Uh, that's 233. That makes 234 with that one right there. Let me go into the archaeology and I will make that one a minute. 32 out of 71. We should be able to make two of these. Yes, we can. Um, so we got the dinnerware and we've got a Gazrilla figurine as well. Let's read these. Fine blood scalp dinnerware. Okay, it's really just a big knife. But in a culture like the blood scalp tribe, any use of actual utensils counts as fine dining. Ha, 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 ha. The Sand Trolls summoned this huge white hydra for this Gazrilla figurine from a sacred pool within Zulfaric, and then proceeded to worship it as a god. Gazrilla's scales are electrified, and even this small figurine seems alive with energy. Within Zulfaric, the legendary hydra is a common motif and in architecture and ornamentation. Zulfaric is an actual dungeon, and it's one that I actually quite like. I used to do this every time when I was leveling many years ago. Zulfaric is a dungeon. It's up this. It's up here. Because we've got all the pets sort of showing. It doesn't show the entrances. But Zulfaric is up here. That's where... I think it's actually in that bit in there. But yeah, that's where you'll find Zulfaric. And next, I want to go here and zoom out. We've got another dig site very close by. The Anderhal Fossil Bank. That's one that we've not been to before. So we're going to jump onto our flappy here, and we're going to head towards Anderhal, which is this way. I'm just going to go in a straight line towards there. I don't need to get any flight points to that one. No, we're not that far off of it. It's... Oh, that's actually in the Western Plague Bank. Uh, Western Plague Lands, that one would be. So we will sort of want to head slightly that way, I would guess. And that'll take us over to the fossil bank just there. Along this, it's, it's in like the hills in here. I think this is a relatively compact fossil site as well. Which is quite nice to make a nice change from the really long, big, drawn out, stretched ones. There's our fossil bank. It looks so much nicer here than it does over in the eastern plague lands. This area is starting to sort of regenerate. Although there are issues in the actual town itself because Sylvanus is um, generally doing bad Sylvanus-y type things. But that's just what we've come to expect of Sylvanus in general. She's, she's just like that. It's just the sort of person she is. Altogether unpleasant for the most part. Right, let's get some of these bears over here and deal with them very quickly. It won't take long because they're all quite low level compared to us. Which is actually really, really good. It means that we can skin them. We get some bear flanks as well. So we get some more skinnings. Uh, we've, we've leveled up our skinning. That's not the problem. Um, but getting the leather means that we can use that for leveling up our leather skill. Ooh, wait, no, I don't want that one. I want this one. Right there. We can keep leveling up our... Um, leather working skill as well because we've also got that one and we're going to need a whole load of leathers to be able to do that leveling up all the skills so it's like all of this it, it all takes a while i'm just going to aoe shot these for a minute spam the aoe shot uh right well that was quick that's all done There's some bare flanks and some more heavy leathers Get a few of those. I'm only getting like 50 XP for each one of those, which isn't very much at all. However, I'm getting lots of XP for each one of these that I do. We are leveling quite quickly with just doing archaeology. If you notice, we're already nearly at level 67. 
Which, quite frankly, is insane. I, I've, I have not, I've done, like, two quests in Northrend so far. I was supposed to be doing from level 60 up to level uh, 80 in Northrend so that we could experience a few of the storylines there. And because I'm doing the archaeology stuff, I'm going to out-level Northrend before we've done anything. Well, that's just the way it is. We'll be doing another character there, that's all. Excuse me. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll just kind of work through and do a different character there at some point. Um, there's, nothing is set in stone. That's, that's a great thing. Is like we, we have the ability to level several characters. And when the new expansion comes out, then there will be other leveling options as well. We won't have to... We'll be able to level our character completely in one zone. Which I'm actually really looking forward to because it means that we can sort of focus on the storylines for one individual place. And we don't, we're not going to be forced to move around so much um, in order to be able to continue. Like, I could stay in one place and I could continue leveling characters in one place. It's just that it sort of feels like I'm using up all the material that's there without getting lots of benefit from it for our character in general. Which I don't really want. I, I don't like that. I don't like that sort of sensation of wasting what we're doing so rather than getting that uh, if I stick with what we're doing at the moment and then when the Shadowlands expansion comes out we'll just make really good use of how things work in here as well let's pick up this lot more bare flanks that's good get you heavy leather and another heavy leather there we go and then that one is just over here somewhere there we go that's the fourth one in this bank. We've got two more to get from in here. One a little bit further in here. Let's just take that one down because he's going to be right in our way anyway. So I may as well eliminate him. More mixed berries and some heavy leather. And then if I go over here, there we go. There's number five and another point. 249. One more will put us at 250. That one's just down here. One more will put us at 250. I don't think we'll be doing any more. And Well, if there is another dig site that's like really close to us, then I probably will do another one, just because we're on a roll at the moment. Uh, let's go into the current artifacts in here. And we've got a fossil one this time that we can cure. That is a devil saw tooth. So we'll pull that one in. That's another brand new one. And we got a vicious ancient fish. There. So that makes two more. So let's put this up to 260. So what am I looking for in the list of things that we've done? The Devil Saw 2. Devil Saws are among the largest predators to ever walk Azeroth. While most died out long ago, some thrive in isolated pockets to this day. There is much speculation about the purpose of Devil Saws' degenerate front arms. One theory is that they help Devil Saws rise to a standing position. Another theory suggests the arms are for the females. More observation is necessary. Vicious ancient fish. This fish skeleton is protected by heavy plates of bone, and the jaws are lined with hundreds of needle-like teeth. There are those who believe that oceans once covered all of the continents, allowing fish fossils to be found in locations hundreds of miles inland. Okay, right. Nothing particularly exciting, but that one is worth ten gold. And the Devil Saw Tooth is worth five gold. The Blood Scalp Dinnerware is worth gold, and the Gazrilla thing is five gold. Right there. So the final thing I want to do now, let's have a look. Where is the new dig site? That one is down here. So I've got four dig sites down there. Ruins of Jubawal, the Baliamar dig site. We've got uh, the Lake Ridge Highway Fossil Bank. And we've got one Sunken Temple dig site. We'll head to those another time, I think. We've done a good long session on archaeology. We've not done very much up in Northrend at all. So I'm going to half back to Northrend now. I've got a tiny little bit left on level 66, so we'll be hitting level 67 in a minute. We'll check our auctions first. Um, I'm st I'm going to leave Grondorn for a little bit. I'm not going to do anything with him for a little while. We, we did load, so I will go straight back to this again. Do you hear me, Arthas? The Argent Crusade comes for you. Your kingdom shall crumble beneath the weight of justice by the light. Where's Tyrion Fordring? 
He's out here somewhere screaming and yelling. I think I've just missed something important there. That that I think we'll end up sort of finding that. Right, anyway. Um let's go and check our auction. Oh, I know what we can do. We did have we picked up something that we want to send off to the auctionator. Send mail to you I can't even remember the name of my character. It's not there. Uh Shidora! Shidora is what she's called. There, Shidora. Um not those. It was that green. I found a green right there. That's what I wanted to send off to her. Uh, that is will be learnable. Requires leather working 170. So I'm I'm not a I'm I don't want to be posting that one off to sell. It's just that one. It's just that one green right there. All right. Now we can go and list it. All right. The big news. The big news has happened. We've had a release date. Shadowlands is here. We have got it. Let's go and have a look. Uh, wait, no, I, I want here perks. No, uh, here. Look, right. Shadowlands officially releases on Tuesday, October the 27th. For those interested in forming a guild group to run heroic and mythic dungeons to gear up before Shadowlands drops, Send me an in-game mail. Glenn and Kinder and me are ready to rock. From Captain Torval. So if you are a guild member and you maybe haven't logged on for a little while, I know quite a lot of people generally take a break before a new expansion is released so that they are fresh and ready to roll. If you'd like to come in and do a little bit of content before Shadowlands drops in eight weeks' time. Well, it's eight weeks for me at the moment. By the time this video goes up, it may be a little bit less than that. I can't remember exactly what episode I'm on and yada, yada, yada. But I think I'm about a week ahead at the moment. Um, then, yes, you can drop, go online and have a little chat with Torvo and anyone else who might be around, drop them in game mails um, and, and make arrangements and, and so on and so forth. People are getting ready. Me personally, my plans, I will now focus almost exclusively on my bank alt right here, there, Shadora, right here, and on Torvo. It will be me and Torvo. Uh, not Torval. Why am I... Because I've just been talking about Torval. Beldrast, the hunter. My hunter, Beldrast. That's who I will be focusing on. I'm not going to do anything on um, Grondorn. Not really. Um, we'll leave Grondorn for now. We might go and do a little bit of cooking if we've got stuff that we need to go and do with it. But probably not going to do very much. And then... I'm going to have content up until one week after launch, and then I will switch to Grondorn. So we'll just be leveling the Hunter for up until one week after launch, and then I will go to Grondorn, and I will start leveling him up again as we work through the new content. Why am I waiting a week before I do anything? Well, that is because I am planning to take a week off. I'm actually having a week-long break from recording. I'm not going to be doing anything at all for that first week so that I can come in-game with Frithgar and just spend a week chilling out and working through the new content. I'm hoping to get max level with Frithgar during that first week. Um, I'd like to spend quite a bit of time in-game. And get to max level at least with Frithgar. So that'll take us up to, I think it's level 60 or level 70 for max level with the new content that's coming. Um, and then once I've done that, once I have had my week off, then I will start recording again. And I will start doing stuff um, and making videos and, and producing them again and... Um, that's why we're going to be waiting a week. So you're not going to lose any videos. I will still have the videos there. It's just that they'll be recorded a week beforehand. So it'll be the last of the Beldrast ones. And then a week after, once I start recording again, uh, Grondorn will hit your screens and I will start leveling him. But none of the stuff I'm going to be doing for that first week with Frithgar will be made into videos. I may post a few shots of it on Instagram, I suppose. I haven't actually posted anything on Instagram for weeks and weeks now. 
so I really should. Uh, so we might go and post a few bits up on there and, and, and things like that. So that is my plan for Shadowlands. I will be online a lot for that week. So, I mean, even if you just want to come along and spend a week or two playing a game just for around launch of the game and have a chat with me in game, then by all means, come and do so. Um, I'm really not very exciting when I'm playing, like if I'm online for several hours. I'm really, really not very exciting at all, right? Um, I'm doing this so that I can get to enjoy the boring bits of the game. And do the boring bits. Like, I can sit and I can do fishing for th uh, two or three hours if that's what I want to. Because I can't do that while I'm recording. Because, uh, quite frankly, it would bore everyone to tears. So, anyway. Um, that's my plan. That is what I'm hoping to do. And uh, before I start worrying too much about the rest of that, we are going to pick up everything that we've got here and get our auctions listed. And then I can get back over onto the Hunter and we can get to Northrend. Right, so we have sold 149 fell iron ore for 3,500 gold right there. We've got uh, expired, 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 expired. Successful. We've got one hammer there for 5 gold. Wand of even tied for 26 gold. Chain braces, 5 gold. Chain braces, 5 gold. Flying machine, 4,275. We listed it for 4,500. So it's um, a 275 gold auction house cut. And then we get the rest. So it will open everything in there. Bring all of that in. Now, it used to, when you closed the mail, it used to say down here how much you'd picked up in total. I don't know if it still does that. I don't know if that has now changed or not, but it definitely used to do that. And you'd have like a, a, a little total on here, but I got a feeling that that's now a bit different. Why am I not picking these up? Close it like that. It doesn't show me what money I'm picking up. Well, I don't get the money coming up at all. Now, I thought I'd changed that setting so that I had it coming up here. Like, if I... Right click on general right there and I click on settings, chat, channels, other, trade skills, opening, miscellaneous, money, loot. It should be showing that. It should be telling me how much I pick up. But it doesn't. I don't understand why it doesn't do that. But it's not showing me how much money I'm picking up. And also, it didn't pick up the Thresherton fangs. It used to show me how much money I picked up. It was really cool, because if you'd picked up loads, you could easily see. Anyway, we got 12,500 gold on us at the moment, and... Have I got a spare flying machine on this character, or not? If I don't, we may have to just switch over to Grondorn to go and make another flying... What is this? I don't remember that bit. Remember that bit in the corner? That seems different. Need help? I don't have any spare in here at Be the moment. Careful. I'm sure I had another flying machine. We will switch over to Grundor in a second and we will make a flying machine because that is something that we will we, we can do. Why are you showing me different characters who shouldn't be? Um We'll make a flying machine. I believe I've got all of the ingredients there ready to roll. So if I quickly throw out another flying machine. Let me have a look. If I look in here, it's not under Culturance, not under Legion, or Drenor, or Cataclysm, or E... Oh, it is Northrend. It is a Northrend one, isn't it? Yes, I remember now. Uh, Sonic Booster, Noise Machine. i got a World Quest over there. No, it's not. It's not a Northrend one at all, is it? It's an Outland. There we go, flying machine. Fell iron casing, a handful of fell iron bolts, the star wood, and the elemental blasting powder. Now, I've got some elemental blasting Well, folks, that's all we got time for today. Even the mightiest heroes sometimes need a bit of rest. And we are far from the mightiest, so we are very, very tired. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.